first look at Android 12 Beta 5 from the Google Pixel 5 running like a boss on the Xiaomi Poco F1. Hey peeps, what's up? Manji here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at Android 12 Beta 5. The build name here is Slowcone, and do note this is a port from the Google Pixel 5 GSI running like a boss on the Xiaomi Poco F1. So, this here is how the build comes out of the box once you do enable your android 12 easter egg you can go into widgets you should have another widget called the android s easter egg and this is your paint chips bring it over to your home screen and you are going to get the color palette and tap on this it is going to show you all the colors which are in your current material you theme and of course you can share it as well next up since we are talking about widgets do note you do have the new clock widgets available and all four of them are working without any issues other than that you also get the conversations widget and updating your apps from the google play store is super important why that is because material you is being pushed out and as you can see the phone app has the material you theme similarly calculator has material you and the clock application has material u as well i think files has also been updated to material u here it is material u is everywhere with android 12 and of course let us go ahead and try to change the wallpaper to see if the material u changes kick in and of course with this new build of pixel 5 port when you're going to change wallpaper you will see the option of live wallpapers as well so those of you who want to download live wallpapers feel free to do so they are going to work without any issues let us try to switch over to a material you theme which is going to give us some good colors let us try to use this one green color kicks in bam there it is material you in the building accent colors have now changed over to green everything seems to be working without any issues now do note this is still beta 5 so if you go into home settings and try to access at a glance none of these options are going to be available for you but when you open your application drawer the option of search or the ugly bar is of course fixed you can tap on this it is going to pop up the keyboard if you tap on the three dot menu it is going to ask you if you want to always show the keyboard when you open your application drawer and bam here it is keyboard will now always show and of course material you theme on the google keyboard as well and you can always go into preferences to see what are the results you want to see in your system wide search when you tap on the search option in your application drawer next up let us have a look at the recents so bam this is how your recent are going to look like now me personally I don't think so this build is as smooth as the previous one there are some lags in the UI every now and then but not in the recents per se and of course with Android 12 you can share your images right from your recents and similarly if you have any web page open you should be able to share the URL as well from your recents here it is tap on this you can share the URL also and of course select working without any issues screenshot also works without any issues quick share menu is there and have a look at that animation let us have a look at that animation one more time take a screenshot try to open the quick share menu bam the animation is there again with the naked eye i did see a little bit of jitter but again this is a port so you will have to live with it next up let us head over to settings and this is how your settings ui is going to look like everything is smooth here you can of course search in your settings that feature was broken in the previous betas has since been fixed by google and we can now jump over to the different customizations which you get so let us jump over to battery you of course have your battery usage over here you have a graph 
and you also have your percentage on top you have a toggle to show the percentage in your status bar going to battery saver you have a master toggle to enable or disable your battery saver and yes you do have the extreme battery saver as well and you can of course set a schedule for your normal battery saver based on your routine or based on the percentage and similarly you can choose your when do you want to use the extreme battery saver ask every time always use and you can also choose essential apps in your extreme battery saver other than that you also have adaptive battery working without any issues next up let us jump over to sound and vibration so of course you have your different sliders do not disturb is there live caption is present works without any issues and you also have adaptive sound now playing is broken do not enable this and you can also enable or disable your media player in your quick settings along with a toggle to show media recommendations based on your current activity and you have toggles to enable or disable all the different options which you see on your screen right now then we can jump over to display here in you of course have your adaptive brightness working without any issues go into lock screen yes you can add a custom text on the lock screen now playing as i mentioned is broken do not enable it otherwise you will have media lag and audio lag issues you of course have always on display working without any issues double tap is unfortunately broken and the same applies for left to check phone as well then you can change your screen timeout you have a toggle for dark theme as well let us enable dark theme and have a look at the ui once you have enabled dark theme so here it is this is how your ui is going to look like once you enable the toggle for dark theme and of course with android 11 you can schedule your dark theme based on a custom time or from sunset to sunrise and with android 12 they have added a big pink notification letting you know that you know your location access is needed for sunset to sunrise then you can change the font size display size you have options for night light you can change the colors from natural boosted and adaptive working without any issues then you have auto rotate screen increase the touch sensitivity screensaver and vr options next up we have wallpapers and styles so we have covered most of the things like you can change your wallpaper you have live wallpapers then you have your accent color customization you can choose between the basic colors or the wallpaper colors you have a toggle for dark theme you also have themed icons do note this is not going to work system wide only for google applications as far as i know not applicable for third party applications and it only works on your home screen so far other than that in your wallpapers and style you also have the option of changing your app grid so you can choose 5x5 4x4 4x5 3x3 and 2x2 next up we can jump over to security so you only have fingerprint unlock works without any issues there is no face unlock and please do not expect any face unlock in pixel ports either and the same applies for your application lock as well not coming to your android beta 5 or android 12 ports from pixel devices until and unless google adds it to those devices specifically then we also have privacy and of course google has added a new privacy dashboard it is going to show you that you know what has accessed microphone location in the last 24 hours same applies for location and camera and you have see other permissions as well then you have toggles to show you notifications when something accesses your camera microphone do you want to see the passwords when you type it and a bunch of other privacy options have been added next up we can jump over to system so here in let us go into gestures the quick tap on the back is broken swipe fingerprint for notifications is also broken then if you go into system navigation you have either three button or full screen gestures go into gestures you can invoke the assistant and you can change the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge independently then you also have one handed mode again works without any issues you do have to swipe down on the pill over here for one handed mode to kick in 
or you can also enable a shortcut in case you want to so you can either tap the accessibility button which is going to open a floating button in the ui or you can press and hold both volume keys together to invoke your one-handed mode you can use whatever option you feel like using then with respect to double tap to check phone that is broken same applies for lift to check as well and surprise surprise what else do we have here well my dear friends another thing which we have over here is poco extras yep you can configure your vibration strength now do note super important thing that once you change it from here it is not going to change it for your google keyboard for that you have to go into settings system languages and input on screen keyboard here and choose gboard preferences and you should have the option of customizing your vibration strength on key press so this is from wherein you can change the vibration strength for your gboard but for everything else you can go into system poco extras use this slider then you also have your vibration wave patterns and kcal is also available yep once you enable this you can change your rgbs and of course super important thing to note over here is that for the changes to kick in you do have to you know do this screen on screen off and bam there it is you can see kcal changes have now kicked in want to reset you have a reset button on the top right use that same process screen on screen off kcal changes are now reverted so yep kcal is there along with your thermal profile and your balanced profiles surprise surprise then with respect to your gaming mode of android 12 again go into settings search over here and type in game once you get game enable this game dashboard toggle once that is enabled all you need to do is open any game and once you've opened the game switch back to something else using your recents let us go back into the search option and then you can go back to your game once you do that you will have this arrow tap on this you will have a console or a controller sorry yes you will have a controller tap on that and bam here it is this is your game dashboard of android 12 and of course you have your option for screenshot then you have your screen recorder tile fps style or fps info is there and you can also enable or disable dnd you have youtube live streaming is going to work absolutely fine this pill of course can be moved and when you bring it to the edge of the screen it is going to snap into a small arrow as well next up let us check for safety net so here it is magisk app is installed device is not rooted let us check for safety net and as you can see safety net is passing we can also head over to the google play store and head and check if device is certified bam here it is play protect certification device is certified this means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues with respect to youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine live caption works picture in picture works of course for picture in picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to pay for youtube premium with respect to google photos you get storage saver unlimited or the other option is going to count against your device storage because do note this is a port from the pixel 5 gsi and if i try to edit a picture of my favorite football star we are looking for the option of portrait light wait for this loading bar to finish once that is done going to adjust portrait light bam here it is portrait light in the building and super important thing to note over here material you has kicked in on google photos application as well and with respect to the assistant lady what were you hoping this is a port from the pixel 5 gsi so yes you do have google assistant 2.0 working like a boss with the screen turned on and with the screen turned off as well then let us check out the app opening animations so here are the app opening animations on your screen right now as you can see they are pretty smooth with no jitters or no lags in the app opening animations let us try to access the google feed and see if you have any lags or any jitters in the google feed nope nothing like that google feed is smooth 
the transition from Google feed to your home screen that is also pretty smooth then we can have a look at the recents so recents are pretty smooth as well no jitters and no lags in the recents either let us try to switch between a few applications and see if you have any issues with that again no issues when you're switching between different applications as you can see on your screen right now so everything is pretty smooth so far the only issues which you might notice with this build are when you go from your quick settings to your home screen you might notice a little bit of jaggery effect it's not like the transition is not smooth let me see if i can show it to you yep there it is you can see the transition from your quick settings to the home screen that is not smooth and then quick settings panel expanded the overlay issue is there so that is something which might never be fixed but it is what it is other than that i think the build is pretty smooth and should be good enough for you to use as a daily driver in my humble opinion and there it is peeps that was our first look at android 12 beta 5 port from the google pixel 5 gsi we have named this one slow cone running like a boss on the poco f1 and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you